Today I'm showing you some ancient Chinese techniques. Always keep it icy. Yo dog, Kenny Bichet here, next level painting. Hitting you up on the literal best of all days on this glorious Friday in the Beats Lab in Hollywood, California. We're keeping it so icy. You may remember, a little while ago we did a video about how to take the Desert Mesa base from Secret Weapon Miniatures, how to make it into an ice base. Just a little reimagining, we transformed Cracked Desert to Cracked Ice. We did it for the Winter Lord. You guys remember we did a tutorial on it. And we did a live three hour video on the base. Today, I'm gonna take those same bases, 50 millimeter, and I'm gonna show you how to keep it icy with some Secret Weapon crushed glass, realistic snow, and some realistic water effect. It's real easy. But for reference, you might want to go back into the VODs, take a look at the Winter Lord, and also that old video I'm talking about. Before I get much further, we got to do a quick roll call to some clutch individuals over on Patreon, which is my personal crowdfunding page. These people have helped me keep the lights on already in 2017. Adam, my man Andrew, Glenn, yo, we got Joshua, Alex, Mithern, my man Nicholas, Rob, Steven, Derek. Andy, Michael, Arcane, Cowboy, my man Anthony, Warchild, Ash, Hamish, Cooper, Alexander, my man Brett, Johan, Tyler, Eric, and of course Benjamin. Thanks guys. I know that was a long list. You did help me keep the lights on all 2016 and now we're in 2017. Thank you guys. Bottom of my heart. Don't forget, we're on Twitch now guys. You're not going to want to miss it. It's our live network we do everything we do here but live interactive with a live chat and reward opportunities and of course the longward.net is the home of the battle reports let's do it let's do this thing guys i'm gonna grab some of that secret weapon scenic so realistic water it's one of my favorite products in the game it works real easy man it's literally just a resin it dries clear it applies clear i have never used a water effect this easy to use and dry, that dries this clear. You'll see I'm pouring it right onto the base, and then I'm just gonna use this busted ass brush that I use for this type of stuff, and I'm gonna just sort of pat it into position. I'm not gonna paint brush it on, I'm gonna knead it, manipulate it, let gravity do what it do, let it settle, let it get sticky. And you see, you can move it around, if you move quick, and then it'll just kinda clear itself out. It's pretty easy to use, you don't really have to overthink this, you see, I can bring it right up to the edge, create a nice shield. Now you could just put a gloss on here, but I'm trying to build it up thick and you know enough so that there's actual distance between the top coat and the actual ice effect that we painted on the resin. So I want there to be a translucence to it like you're looking through the ice. So I find that the secret weapon realistic water does that the best. It also works in conjunction here with the crushed glass. This is one of my favorite ways to do snow. Pour it right in. To the liquid water effect it'll kind of absorb itself into the crushed glass and will actually like wet it make it appear wet and damp it's actually amazing it's almost like this crushed glass is a sponge so what i'm doing here is i'm pouring it in in just a kind of a random random pattern but i am focusing on these little dirt areas because i you know i need to do my best to conceal all this extra dirt it's okay if there's like dirt right up against it like it's a, like it's a stream or a, or the edge of a lake but i want to do my best to throw as much snow in on the dirt to make this dirt as background to the base as possible because remember this is a desert mesa base that we are manipulating into a crushed uh or sorry a cracked ice with crushed snow on it crushed glass snow on it so you see what i'm doing here is i'm just making a, a random pattern here and this first coat of snow is going to be very slushy in appearance very realistic you see how as it settles into the ice, into that liquid resin, we have a very slushy effect. Now I'm focusing on building it up toward the peaks to create more of a fresh powder snow toward the top. You see, I'm doing this on all the bases. I'm showing you every single one of them. So that way it's not just, you know, that way you can see all the trials, all the tribulations, all, all the headaches that I've experienced here that I didn't just wipe out with movie magic. So you see, we got a pretty good powder snow on top of some slush snow. It's all about the layers with this realistic effect. Now, say, let's go to the second guy here real quick. Let's do the same thing. You see, he's got a different obstacle here. He's got this huge 
base add-on that his foot's attached to that I pinned to the base that we're going to do our best to just completely dominate that feature of his base with the crushed glass. So same deal, we're going to spread out this liquid water effect, do our best to coat every inch of this ice right up to the edges. We're going to pile it up over this piece of garbage that he's standing on that's supposed to look like dirt, and it's going to just be snow here in a second. We're not going to completely dominate the dirt with this liquid water, but we are going to get on the dirt in some areas. Basically, we're using the liquid water effect as the glue for the crushed glass. Now, you could use a gloss varnish or a glass medium to achieve the same effect, but I, I'm already trying to create depth and actual like thickness here to this top coat. So I, it's just might as well combine them into one. And also I like the fact that this uh, water effect dries clear. It really lets me get the whole picture as it dries, as I do this whole process. You see instantly you create slush on the perimeter and powder toward the center. You see that? We're basically just gonna keep working that pattern in there as we dominate. Basically we're transforming that base add-on that he has that he's like, you know, mounted on. We're transforming that into a pile snow. Or maybe just a little rock poking through. Same deal, we're gonna kinda get some right there on the on the brown gravel, and it's gonna be the slushy type of snow, so you can actually kinda see through it a little bit. So it's gonna be really interesting effect over this nice sheet of liquid resin that is creating our, like our top coat of ice, and underneath it is that cracked effect. Now here's the next guy, you see he's got two of those shitty little things. So, same deal, you've seen it already, we've done it tw twice before, pile it up, Get it right up to the edges, get a little bit on the brown gravel, get as much of it as we can on those things his feet are standing on. Same process, you know. Gotta get it to wrap around though. Gravity will do most of the work here. This is, you see, I'm just gonna squirt a little bit. It's so easy to work with. I can't even explain it to you, man. Like it's, there's no overthinking in this process. It's pretty easy. So you see, I'm piling it up, mounted it up on that pile of crap he's standing on. I didn't even like really paint that thing. Like I literally just painted it like an, like a sand color and threw a wash on it because I knew I was going to throw so much snow on it, it didn't matter. Same thing with that weird, you know, honeycomb rock. It's going to be just dominated in this snow effect. Feeling pretty good about this. So there we go. Pow. Just cover that motherfucker. Pow. Cover that crazy ass rock. Pow. Cover that weird thing he's standing on. Yep, that's all the snow. You see? That easy. And so as you see, as it, it's immediately absorbing the liquid resin and becoming very slushy, you see it? It's being sucked into its inner core. I'm gonna set all these guys down after the, we get all this set up the way we want, and we're gonna let it cure. But you see here, it's about round two. We're gonna pour a little bit more of this resin on top of the slush so that we can start building that powder up because it's all about the textures with this type of effect. There we go. Now we have more mounded up snow and we have a powder coat over the slush as if it's been snowing over and over again, freezing, like a very realistic snow. The only thing that's kind of not realistic is our ice. Our cracked ice is very comic book, very exaggerated. But I'm doing my best to balance the realistic effects with these you know, hyper contrast effects. It's kind of one of my favorite things to do here. So I'm feeling real good about this sheet of ice, about the realistic snow and the realistic ice here. Same deal, we're gonna come back and hit. Now you see that this has dried up and gotten hard. You see it's almost all slush. Only a little bit of the powder is still intact because it really did absorb as much of that resin as it could. So we're gonna just dump a little bit more on the top, then a little bit more. Like I said, it's basically just the glue that's holding this snow in place. Real easy, guys. Pretty happy with this. We do have a few more things I wanna show you though. Besides the texture in the snow, I think you pretty much got the gist here. Easy mode. So, take a look at this. We got a, a weird wedge here, a gap. I didn't pin that all the way down. I'm gonna literally just plug that gap with this liquid resin, this water, and some snow. Pow. That's literally like an eighth inch gap between whatever that crappy standing on is and the base. Boom. That simple, guys. So now, like I said, just a couple extra piles of, of, of this powder. I wanted to look at just snowed a few minutes ago. It's looking its best. That easy. 
feeling i'm just i just love it man like i'm literally in love with the crushed glass it's the best snow in the game that's simple this is i mean it's really that easy so now what i'm doing is i'm just adding a little bit more resin to the big flat areas i want to build up that texture like i want to make sure there's like a solid eighth inch of liquid water between my paint job and the surface so that way it's actually like it's ice you know it's not just paint that's been glossed there's actual texture to it and it's going to drive dry a little wavy a little you know a, it's going to be as you know level as gravity is going to allow it but since we did it in multiple stages it, there's going to be wave to it there's going to be some texture to it so it's going to it's going to have a nice effect see right here just i mean just gangster look how intense we're going here we just don't even care and we're going to let that all cure up get as hard as it can knead it into position make it look its absolute best so we have now an interesting cracked ice effect on these 50 millimeter bases desert mesa but let's do one last thing i'm gonna use a product this is gamers grass tufts of grass love these guys they are a sponsor i'm gonna cut up some of that grass and make a little shoot right here you see literally just with my exacto knife i'm gonna shove it right in there on that dirt mound that he's standing on get it pointing straight up and then i'm gonna bury it in there and that that it's still that that, that it's still semi hardened so i mean that resin is gonna harden around this tuft of grass but I'm not going to leave anything to chance because I'm going to pour one drop of resin on top of it. Basically, aka glue. It's going to settle in there, lock into all that crushed glass. And I'm going to pour just a little bit more crushed glass on top of it so that it looks like a little bit of snow crystal. You know, like that morning frost. Like it's all, you know, frosty on all the, 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 the plant life. Boom. Nice little accent on our basis courtesy of Gamer's Grass. See, so you can go through and do it on all of them that easy. Have a little bit of the water, you know, from the, the snow melt from the slush pulled up around it. Make it look its best. That simple. Great base accents. Same deal. We'll drop another one on the third guy. Here we are. Dropping just a little bit of that water onto it, treating it as glue. <laughs> Knead it into position. Make sure it's standing up straight. Love it. Now, you, like I said, you can just pour a little bit of crushed glass on top of these. Get yourself some instant frost. Pow. Man, that was easy. It's almost embarrassing how easy that was. So I'm feeling pretty good about these guys. Here they are looking their best. Look at that base. You have a nice combination of textured slushy snow, powdered snow, a very interesting cracked ice effect. We've got an accent piece in that tough to grasp some gamers grass this is a real easy way to think outside the box and just take your base into that next level without really going to i mean we basically just had fun and that's all hobby is it's just a combination of techniques and having fun guys hey guys if you can real quick do me a solid favor click subscribe but don't stop there they've changed some things here click the little bell logo it'll open up this dialog box send send me notifications on this channel save be doing me a solid guys Anyway, play on players. If you like these tutorials, check out Next Level Painting on Patreon. Become a patron of the arts today. We offer early and exclusive access to our videos and a rewards program for different pledge levels. Patreon is PayPal and credit card secure, so you don't have to worry about that. We use 100% of the money to improve our process.